All right, let's get into the supplies. Four components. You don't need a whole bunch of stuff. It is an investment, but once you get these items, they're yours to keep. And what I mean by that is they last. I mean, you will have them pretty much your entire life or you'll be passing them down to the next generation. These things really last. These were just a few examples of the canners. But see what I'm saying? This stuff is going to last. Like, what's going to happen to a pot? <laughs> I mean, I'm just I'm using a pot now that I grew up. I'm, I got a few things that I'm using that was passed down from grant. It's a pot, you know, iron pots and things like that. So it's an investment initially, but you will have it. Canning utensils. Now, these canning utensils, um, I usually tell people to buy them in a set. And they're typically show they're typically sewn like, excuse me, sold like this, uh, with everything that you need for successful canning. Uh, the main thing that you want to make sure your kit comes with will be the uh, jar lifter, the funnel, and the headspace ruler. They don't always come with this little sponge doohickey thing here, and all that is is just something to help clean your jars. I actually use a baby bottle brush cleaner, <laughs> so that's what I use. Um, because the kit that I had got didn't come with this. So I just used a little scrub thing. Um, tongs, most of us have tongs. We know what tongs are. And then this device here, or this utensil here, is just used for um, tightening the bands or uh, loosening the bands of our jars. It's also used, um, can be used to just open jars. You know how we, we struggle to open up that spaghetti jar? This is what you can use that for. But it's not mandatory for canning. So some kits may not have them. The, like I said, the main thing you want to make sure that your kit comes with is this jar lifter um, because that helps you to maneuver the hot jars in and out of the canner, especially taking them out because when they come out, like I told y'all, we're talking about 212 degrees all the way up to possibly 260 degrees Fahrenheit. So we don't want to have to touch those jars and this helps us to maneuver. And then the funnel, all the funnel does is just helps control spillage or prevent spillage, you know, make sure that everything ends up in the jar like it should. And then that headspace ruler helps us uh, with removing bubbles, um, air pockets in our jars. It also helps us measure the headspace. And that's something that we'll get into more in the workshop. Okay, the canning jars. So the canning jars come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They will come as small as four ounces. Uh, then they'll get up to the eight ounce, up to the 16 ounce, up to a quart size jar. All right. So the largest size jar we should be using is the quart size. Uh, and you may see those half gallon um, jars. You don't want to use those for canning. That's too big. Okay. So the quart size is the largest size jars you should be using for home canning. And then these little small ones um, can be used as well. When you buy them brand new, they're going to come with the uh, jar, of course, and then the lid and the band will be on it as well. After you've um, you know, canned something and then you've eaten the food out of the jar, these jars are reusable, y'all. Like these jars can be used again for a lifetime. <laughs> as long as your jars are in good shape, they're not cracked, there's no kind of Deformities going on, they can be used over and over and over again. I mean, they pay for themselves after the first uh, use. That's what I really love about home canning. Now, the lids. The lids do need to be replaced because what happens is after you, once you crack these jars open or remove the lid, I should say, they, the lid becomes deformed and then it's not in a position to be uh, resealed again. All right. Now, the little bands, those can be used over and over again as well. Um, they sometimes eventually get a little rusty. Uh, they may get a little misshapen and you may have to you know, replace them. But it's it, it takes a while before you get to that point. I hardly ever, it's very rare that I buy bands. Okay, so again, um, this picture on the left is kind of what it looks like in the store. You know, you can find these in a grocery store. Um, just ask, just ask where they can be found. Um, Target, Walmart, a lot of the hardware stores carry them. Trader Joe's hardware stores, um, yeah, they'll have them as well. You'd be surprised. 
And then this is another brand um, of canning lids. You want to make sure that you are getting in the habit of buying canning lids. Uh, during the pandemic, you couldn't even find canning lids. It was crazy. Um, and even when you did find them, they had a buy one per customer thing going on. Because what happened was when we were in the shelter in place period, time period, um, people that already knew how to can began to triple their efforts. They were like, okay, let me, you know, triple up on it. And then people that never can before were like, hey, I think I need to learn how to can. And what happened was um, the ball brand, they were hit by both communities and they, they just could not keep up with the demand, and even to this day. And so that's why we have a variety of other brands now that we can choose from because ball had a monopoly <laughs> on the can of supplies. Um, but other people now see the value in canning supplies. So there are several other brands out there that you can now take advantage of. Okay, so fourth, this is the last one, canning book. Okay, so canning recipe books in particular. When you're canning, you want to use a canning recipe book. You don't want to just be using your own recipe, coming up with whatever you want to make, or, you know, because these recipes in here have all been tested to be safe for home canning. So they're going to give you the recipe, you know, all the ingredients that you should be using. They're gonna tell you what size jar you should be using because not every size jar is good for everything. They will tell you the processing time. They will tell you the method. Should you be, uh, should you be water bath canning or should you be pressure canning? What headspace should, be, should you be using? They tell you all of that because this is a science at the end of the day. This is a science. Um, but I try to stay away from that word sometimes because people get a little nervous about the word science. Um, but it is a science and you do want to use uh, these scientifically uh, tested recipes that can be found inside these recipe books. Now, these are just three of my favorite books that I use. Several are on, on the internet and bookstores that can be found. Um, just to make sure that it's up to date, that it's modern and that it's going by um, home canning guidelines.